Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to another Smite God Spotlight. I think things are finally working. I have tried uh, recording this video like three times now, but for some reason my ping just escalates to like 990, which basically makes the game unplayable. So hopefully uh, things uh, seem to be working better. It does look like they are, so uh, let's get to it. Uh, we last left off at... Hubwa, so we're going to move on to the next god, which is Hel, the goddess of the underworld from the Norse mythology. So we have a ranged magical mage, pros, high sustain, and high area damage. Difficulty, very hard. I would actually agree with that. Hel, I wouldn't say, is really that easy to use. In some cases, she is a very, very one-dimensional character, which uh, basically means she's going to be used for one purpose and one purpose only. But uh, I wouldn't necessarily say she is one-dimensional because she has essentially two parts to her, as you can tell from her icon right here. She has uh, two stances. One is kind of a healing stance, and the other is an heavy damage stance and you can actually switch between the two stances throughout the game and uh, that's essentially her main gimmick in modes like assault hell is often uh, sought after and I think in uh, the recent competitive scene hell has actually been picked up quite a bit again but uh as far as I'm concerned, I'm not really a huge hell person. I don't think she's a bad god by any means. It's just that uh, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily that great with her. But we'll see how things work out. So her passive is Stance Attunement. When hell is in a stance, she gradually attunes to the strengths of that stance, giving up to 20% damage in the Dark Stance and 20% healing in the Light Stance. Her first ability is Decay. Uh, Hell fires a projectile that explodes on contact, doing damage to all enemies in a 15-foot radius, and uh, that's when she's in Dark Stance. In the Light Stance, it's called Restoration. Hell fires a projectile that does damage to a single target and heals Hell on a successful hit. Second ability is Hinder slash Cleanse. In the Dark Stance, Hell debuffs all enemies at her ground target location, uh, reducing their magical protection and slowing them for a short time. And then there's Cleanse. Hell buffs all allies at her ground target, removing all crowd control abilities instantly and pr protecting them from future ones for a short time. Next we have Repulse slash Inspire. Uh, for Repulse, the Dark Stance, Hell conjures a burst of dark energy damaging all nearby enemies, and Inspire, the Light Stance, is a burst of white matter, soothes all nearby allies' pain, healing them and granting increased movement speed. And I'll go over the ultimate later. As you can see, her ultimate's already available, but because she is a stance-changing uh, god, she actually uh, doesn't get a true ultimate. Her ultimate is actually switching between the two stances. As a result, you actually do not waste any mana whenever you switch stances. But, at the same time, you also essentially lose out on a fourth ability. But you can also look at it as the fact that Hell has technically six abilities instead of four, so... You can really look at it in whatever way you want, honestly. But like I mentioned before, Hell does a lot of damage in her Dark Stance. Uh, she's actually, I think, probably one of the more powerful mages in terms of uh, just straight-out damage whenever she's in Dark Stance. In Light Stance, though, she's all about healing. And in modes like Assault, she is very, very invaluable. Meaning that uh, with Hell on your team in Assault, you have a pretty good advantage, assuming that the uh, person using Hell knows what they're doing. So yeah, her uh, basic playstyle just uh, kind of uh, comes down to switching stances whenever you need to. Uh, whenever you need healing, you definitely want to go to your dark stance. 
uh, or whenever you want to go to your light stance whenever you need healing. Whenever you want to do damage, definitely go to your dark stance for sure. Like right now, it's probably a good idea for me to go into light stance and then I can use my abilities to heal up and still do damage. Not as much damage to enemies, but still a decent amount. Which uh, basically means that Hell has very, very high sustain. Although, High Rose definitely noted that that was one of her biggest advantages, so there really should be no surprises. Because she is a healer, though, definitely recommend getting the Rod of Acephalus on her, because that will increase her healing even more. As you can see, I took quite a bit of damage. I was almost in the red, and I'm already essentially back to uh, full health. Actually, I am at full health. Damn. Nice. This is, this is going pretty good so far, not gonna lie. Oh, shoot, can I please? Yes! Awesome. Nice hit on my part. Don't mean to brag, but come on, that was a really, really good hit. <laughs> I wouldn't say that was a blind hit by any means. I knew I had a good chance of connecting because I saw a raw light up, which meant that I did have a perfect aim on him. But still, he was moving away and at an angle too, so that was very well played on my part. I'll stop. I'll stop patting myself on the back now. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that can get annoying. But yeah, look! Look how much damage I did with just one hit, and he's almost dead again. Again, this really, really shows that Hell is capable of some. Big and awesome damage. Let's see. I'm just going to use this. Boom! Alright. Let's go ahead and switch back to Light Stance. Heal up a little bit. And see, the thing is, her Light Stance isn't necessarily weak either. You can still do a decent amount of damage in the Light Stance. It's just... Uh, dark Stance is when you want to put heavy damage, especially on gods that are... You know, essentially close to uh, death. Uh oh, I'm getting some high ping here. Oh my god, over 800. Okay, it's going back down, thank god. I was getting kind of worried there. Uh, my internet's been largely unstable lately. In a lot of cases, it's really, really good, but in other cases, not so great. Thankfully, it seems to, uh, like I said, it's stabling out a little bit, so I should be fine. Okay, I'm not going to worry about uh, healing my mana, or he healing or using my abilities right now. I want to make sure I can get this tower down. It looks like I can, actually. And not quite. It's getting there, though. We got quite a bit of damage on there. When you think about it, Hell doesn't really use a lot of mana here. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. Ah, damn it. That's fine. I'll take a tower. And with that tower done, I'm gonna go uh, back to my base, and I may be able to get a full item. I might go for the. Uh, I might just go for a Kronos pendant or something. Let's get some more damage on this tower before I go back, though. I, I've definitely just pushed Raw out of lane too many times. There's no way he can really recover from that. And now, I don't know if I like this idea of him coming close. He could die. Ah, oh, shoot. Unfortunately. Eh. Fortunately, he got, got away again. 
The thing that really helped him escape right there is the fact that he used his uh, two. Whenever Ra uses an ability, he actually gains a temporary movement speed buff, which allowed him to get out of uh, combat very easily. I'm gonna see if maybe I can. Oh, damn it. So close. So very close. Okay, I'm gonna go back to base. I think I've made my point with the fact that the second tower is almost done in less than, uh, less than ten minutes. I'm also surprised that the others haven't been coming into this lane at all yet. That's really something I expected at this point. Uh, can I get the rod of... Oh, I can. Okay, I'm going to get that. I'm going to go ahead and get that, and I'll go ahead and get some mana potions, too. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay, I don't think I really need to go anywhere just yet. Left lane's facing a little bit of uh, issues, but... I think I'm going to stay in here for just a little bit longer and make my way over there after I kind of push Ra out again. I would like to uh, get another kill on him. <laughs> I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Ah. Well, his ultimate's down. That's uh, one thing. There we go. Take that, you chicken. He is the chicken. The chicken man. I think we could get this tower down. Um, not with this wave, though. Definitely with the next wave. Oh, I think Ra will be coming back here, too. Yep, there he is. There's the man. If he wants to die, I mean... I'm not sure if that was really a great move on his behalf, but... <sighs> Who am I to judge, apparently? Let's get this tower down. And the cool thing about this is I can heal my minions, too. But we got this. This tower going down. Have fun with that, Raw. Have fun with that. Oh, and this is perfect. I'm going to be able to... Grab them right where it hurts. Ah, dang it. If I would have hit her, I would have definitely been gotten that kill. She was just a bit too far out of my reach. Oh well. Another thing you can do is you can use um, enemy camps to kind of restore your health if you need to. Raw, you're dead. <laughs> well, hey! Oh, I'm out of mana, though. Dead. Okay. Awesome. Okay, well, 
let's keep pushing then. I don't know if I'll be able to get any damage on the Phoenix, but... This game is about pushing sometimes. Another good thing is I think I'll be able to get the, uh... Frickin' Kronos Pendant next, which will give me some more mana to work with. And, uh... MP5. And those are all good things indeed. Jeez, look at all these guys. I gotcha. Ah, damn it, I could have got both of them. Unfortunately, my damage was not exactly controlled that well. But hey, I can heal it back up. Nobody will be any the wiser. Oh. I might miss again. I really hate that I miss like that. Oh, God. go back. I'm not liking this uh, situation. Let's get my Kronos Pendant out of the way. Finish up this as well. And get some more Mana Pots. I'm ready to go, guys. The mid lane is so far ahead. It's so far ahead, it's not even funny. Oh god. <laughs> My god. I don't care, I just wanted to get a health regen. Is Ross still in here? I have a feeling like he could be. He is. Hey, buddy, remember me? Oh, cool, you destroyed the right tower. I wasn't even aware of that. There we go. you guys and maybe just maybe I don't know if we'll be able to actually finish this no there's no way we'll finish it off we have a lot of archers though and another wave on the way so The thing that's just really, really working in my favor right now is just strong mid lane performance and the fact that these guys haven't exactly uh, come over here to do much. They've let me uh, destroy them. Let's just finish this tower. <sighs> tower slash Phoenix. Got it. I'm gonna go help out left lane now. Middle lane's gonna have fire minions coming through, so they're already gonna have issues. 
Let me uh, get full health, or almost full health. Oh jeez, they're actually getting some damage in. Oh! <laughs> Change your mind! <laughs> Between rock and hard place, right? <laughs> I just like how Artemis saw me. She's like, uh, I don't know, maybe my chances are better over here. Oh wait, there's two foes here. Uh, maybe they're better over, oh right, this powerful opponent that's destroying the mid lane. Uh... That moment of indecision. So very hilarious. Now we have three people knocking this tower down. There we go. I did what I had to do, Artemis. Whoa. Oh god, randomly high ping, that's what happened. Okay, that tower's down. I was there to back up. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes! That was in one freaking push, too. These guys are going down. Guess I'll start working on the right lane now. Meanwhile, the tower's going down. Oh my god. Oh my god, let me... And it's like, no matter what, I'm still healthy. Okay, good job, Sobek. Okay, this Phoenix is going to come back up. So much wreckage and destruction. The fire minions are killing the Titan. I think it's over, guys. It's 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 pretty much over. You know what? Yeah, let's get that. It's over. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a short spotlight. Not gonna lie. Uh, a lot of things went right. That's for sure. They just couldn't keep up with me. I was I had too much sustain. They didn't shut me down. Didn't really have that many kills either. It's just a matter of doing damage and pushing them away and being able to stay in longer than they can stay in. All right. As far as damage concerned, oh my god. Uh 50,000 creep damage. Raw did a lot of damage. Oh, in terms of player damage, though, not really. 
Yeah, that's uh, that, that's pretty much all she wrote. It's kind of funny how there's some players on the other team that did way more damage than people on my team, but I just had so much going that it didn't really even matter because we were behind at first. They were actually doing pretty good until I kind of started going everywhere. Uh, but yeah, that was Hell. Uh, really good uh, sustained mage, capable of doing a lot of good healing, a lot of good damage. I like her. I think she, I think she's a good uh, she's a good choice if you're looking for a character that's kind of uh, unique like her. So uh, next time I think is Hercules. So I'll show you guys Hercules next time. So I hope you guys are ready for that, and I'll see you guys later. Later, folks.